Guys, today we're going to be making simple skillet fried potatoes. Guys, this recipe has a lot of bang, a lot of payoff, but it's super simple to make. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to start with our potatoes. As always, I'll link on the screen and also in the description box how much I used of everything. I'm only making a, sm making a small portion, so you'll see that I'm only um, peeling a couple of potatoes. So we're just gonna start here with potatoes that we've already, or that I've already washed, and also an onion that I've already washed. And we're gonna peel all of that. So you have a couple of options. You are able to slice the potatoes or you can cube them. I'm choosing for this recipe to slice them. And then I'm going to slice the onion as well. Guys, we are almost to the finish line. So the next step is that we're going to gather our seasonings. Now I like to use salt, pepper, garlic powder, Cajun seasoning. I prefer to use Tony Saturi's Creole seasoning just to give it a little bit of a kick. If there are seasonings that you prefer, maybe you like to use Greek seasoning. I've done that as well, it's good with that. Um, choose what Choose the type of seasoning that you prefer, okay? Guys, I'm so excited for you. Look at you, you've almost prepared maybe your first um, order of or, or dish of fried potatoes or, or maybe you're a seasoned cook. Either way, we are almost at the end of this recipe. So as you'll notice in the pan, I have a minimal amount of oil and that's gonna be key for a couple of reasons. Number one, you don't want greasy potatoes, but number two, it's going to help you get a nice crisp coating on the outside of those potatoes. So we're going to go ahead and dump them in and we're going to let those fry um, until we are satisfied with the, I don't know, with how golden brown they are. 
So let's just go ahead and let them cook. It typically takes, if we're cooking these on medium heat, it takes about 10 to 12 minutes for them to get to a level of doneness that I am comfortable with. And remember, if you like yours cooked longer than I like mine cook or browner than I like mine, please, by all means, go ahead and cook them longer. This is your recipe. Do what it do with it what you will. So guys, it's been 12 minutes and now it is time to pull these or a few of these out of the skillet so that we can taste them. Look how beautiful and brown they are. You did an amazing job today, guys. You should be so proud of yourselves. So let's taste them. I'm excited. My goodness, guys, I hate to brag, but these are wonderful. That Tony Saturies along with the garlic powder just gives it a nice flavor. I am going to, actually I'm gonna have these for breakfast. I'm gonna have those as a side with some nice eggs and a little bit of bacon. I'm gonna make the million dollar bacon that they uh, serve at Fresh Watch. I don't know if you guys have a Fresh Watch in your area. If anybody's interested in seeing me make million dollar bacon, just link it down in the comments below, right after you smash that subscribe button, of course. Guys, as always, I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you for watching Southern Girl Cooks. I will see you in my next recipe video. Thank you.